to another vlog. So today is Monday, and it's Monday morning. As you guys have seen, I'm kind of taking through my morning routine. I'm about to take Coco on a walk and then work out. And then after, I need to shower and self-tan. So I might look a little bit crazy today, but I have three phone calls, um, a little bit of work I need to do. So I'm just taking you guys kind of through like my typical work from home day in my life. Um, I mean, this is not typical, we're quarantined, but you know what I'm saying. So, I'm really tired, but I don't wanna... <sighs> Did that make any of you yawn? When I wash back yawns when I edit, it makes me yawn when I'm editing. Okay, well, anyways, I'm gonna listen to a podcast. It, oh, actually, really exciting, guys. My Bala bangles came, and I was really brave, and I got the two pounds, I because I thought one pound would do nothing, and the two pounds are actually, like, really hard. <laughs> um... But I'm making it work, so I just wear these um, on like walks and stuff, and then also during my at-home workouts, they're really awesome. Um, Melissa Wood Health uses them a lot. She uses them on her ankles, in her hands, um, but a lot of people use these. They They've had these in Hot Pilates for a long time, so I've used them before, and I love them, but I didn't have my own pair, so I finally bought my own pair, and I'm really excited. A lot of you guys have been asking how I got them. I pre-ordered these the two pound weights like almost a month ago and then they finally came in because they were getting shipped on April 1st I didn't buy them recently because I know you can't find them because now I'm like shoot I think I want the one pounds too and they're like not available anywhere but anyways I really like them they're really nice so I'm gonna go on a walk and bring my water walk cocoa this is like my favorite part of my day honestly Alright, so I worked out for about 40 minutes. I did a Melissa Wood Health workout and then I did a little arms on Hot Pilates. I normally just do Melissa Wood Health, but I'm gonna put this stuff away, go shower. Um, I have about 50 minutes. I wanna shower, self tan, all that stuff, and then I have a call at noon. I have a lot of calls today, so um, we're gonna go get that stuff done. Alright, so I just self tanned, so I'm wearing like loose clothes, not the outfit that I would wanna be wearing today, but this is what happens when you self-tan, guys. So, anyways, and I'm not wearing my white slippers because I don't want to, like, risk it, you know? But, anyways, I'm going to go make breakfast and then head up to my office and start my work day. I know I've shown you guys this creamer before, but I normally don't even drink creamer, and this is the one that I love. I also normally hate coconut creamer, and it's actually really good. So, anyways, I just made some coffee. I ended up doing a really quick clean... I swept and did some dishes and stuff. All right, so exciting stuff. Um, well, I still haven't, that's literally the battery stuff, but we don't have to talk about that. Um, exciting stuff, guys. My chair is supposed to arrive tomorrow, supposedly. This frame, I don't know how it got so dirty. I mean, it was in the garage, so I decided last night, I was just thinking, and then this randomly came to mind. Duh, I'll just bring this up here. So that'll be cute. I really feel like when I get a rug in here, it's gonna feel so different with this chair. And then putting that on the wall. And then I have a few other frames that I think I might just move around my house just in general. So, anyways, I'm gonna eat breakfast. I have a call in nine minutes. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Basically, I'm just gonna sit in here, get locked in. Um, I don't have like a crazy, crazy amount of stuff that I need to get done today. Just some calls. I'm recording a podcast with a friend for her new podcast which i'm excited for so i'll share that on instagram whenever it goes live also we are doing a really big giveaway you guys have probably seen this so if you guys didn't know we are giving away four five hundred dollar visa gift cards on this post it's kind of confusing so just go to my instagram go to this post and then you guys can see how you can enter it's really really quick and easy but we just want to give back because i know time's really crazy right now so anyways i'm gonna prep for my call get ready drink some coffee um, I've been listening to Peace by Hillsong Young and Free non-stop lately, and it's really, really been helping me, I think. So, I just got off my first call. It was actually, like, really, really freaking cool. Um, I'm about to post an Instagram photo. It asked for video requests, specifically, like, what you guys want to see in vlogs, all that stuff. And then I have another call in 45 minutes, so I think I'm actually going to need to do a little bit of school and email my professor. So unfortunate, right guys? Also, comment down below if you guys are affected by graduation. Like, if I'm really curious to know how many college seniors there are 
I'm also a college senior. It just doesn't affect me because I've been in online school and I'm graduating a little bit late anyways. I feel like I look crazy right now, but comment down below because I'm like actually really interested to know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna post this to Instagram and then um, do some work. All right, so um, I'm almost done with my coffee. It takes me forever to drink my coffee. But I am posting to the Allie Much Instagram, which is my podcast. If you guys don't know, I feel like I talk about it on every video. You guys don't listen. Comment down below if you've never listened to an episode. I'm really curious. Or if you do listen. I just want to get like a nice little census. But anyways, um, I am posting some stuff about last week's episode and just getting all of that ready. And then I'm about to hop on a call in like two minutes. So that call that I just had was with Beachbody. Um, I'm working with them on my podcast, but I thought I would share this with you guys too. This is not paid obviously at all. I know a lot of you guys are working out from home. I know I'm working out from home. So Beachbody is offering you guys, I think it's, what is it? It's a special free trial membership when you text I love you, completely spelled out, to 303030. 30, 30. And then you get full access to the entire program for free. So it's workouts, nutrition information, support, everything's totally free. Um, again, that's not sponsored for this video in the slightest, but I know a lot of you guys are trying to stay home, stay healthy. I like the um, food and stuff on there as well. So I thought I would just share that with you guys in case you wanted to do it, but I'm gonna keep working. It's 1.15. I have a podcast recording at three. So I'm gonna do some work on my computer, get all that stuff done, and then um, take that podcast. Also, I wanted to very, very, very briefly mention, um, my friend and I are leading a Bible study on Zoom, open for literally anyone and everyone on Tuesday nights. I don't know if this vlog will be up by then, but if not, it'll be next week. So just follow me on Instagram and then we'll have everything there in case you're interested or just want to hang or whatever. We'll be out there. Guys, update on my rooftop furniture. I found some great deals on Overstock. So I really want all of this. Then I get one of these and then two of these. And then the rugs start from there and go from there, obviously. Um, but this is kind of what I'm looking at right now. It is now 2.30. I decided to kind of get a little bit dressed up into an outfit that I actually liked. So um, this long sleeve is from Misguided. I love these long sleeves. I actually want to get more. They're so inexpensive. I know Misguided sweats and everything are out of stock. I'm so glad I made my order when I did because I literally live in them, but it's amazing. These sweats are talentless. I have a size medium. I probably would do a size small though. They're just definitely big on me and they get really big in the butt. But the quality is amazing. And then I'm back to my cute favorite slippers from Amazon, which I know Brooke texted me yesterday and told me that they are out of stock for like months now. So I'm so sorry. Those These slippers are literally $20 and they're the best slippers ever. But I have just been kind of walking around my house getting stuff done. I have another pillow. So I now have four of these silky pillows. Coco just sits there all the time. Loving the chair still. The rug is actually supposed to come today. So updates to come. Also really loving this diffuser. But I'll take you guys downstairs to what I just did. Okay, so I figured out that I... Okay, so I just moved the gates because this is a much better tactic even though Cook is upstairs right now. Um, and then I actually vacuumed and cleaned the floor down there. I need to sweep some stuff out. But I vacuumed the stairs, did all of that stuff. And then I actually got a package... For my security, I had a few bags of things that I needed to go through from my car. So I went through all that, got rid of a bunch of stuff, went through some other stuff. I found like cute pictures. Like this is me and my cousins at Big Bear, my like 21st or two years ago almost. So crazy, I'm so old. But right now, I want to look at these because I have these frames that I really like. And I think, I mean, I don't love the yikes thing. I think I'm going to take that out and then this um drake can just go back in this i think but at least with the frames i might just find new prints i also have one in here that i might take for my room because i don't care about this bathroom as much i would love to get this vacuum or this vacuum this bathroom wallpapered i think that that would be so fun so that'll be a project for another day i really am considering buying all the outdoor furniture today just so i have something to do over the next month um but I like this frame and I like the size. I want to see size-wise if it's something I'd want to put in my room. I would definitely change the printout. That's not really something I want right now. But I think I'm going to at least just take it upstairs to see. 
So I'm gonna move all of these really quickly. Okay, so this one, this print, um, is definitely not what I'm keeping in here. It's really messed up, as you guys can see. I just need to clean out the frames, but I just needed to put something in there for the time being. So I'm gonna take these upstairs really quick. I mean, you guys can definitely not tell from this. You can definitely not tell from this, but I wanna put that frame up there. So I'm gonna get a new print. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll just put these downstairs or in my bathroom. I'm not really sure. I'm probably gonna bring them in my office just for the time being. So that I can, ooh, have a visual for what I wanna do with this office. But yeah, I won't be putting them in here, I don't think, but I need to see them so that I can go and look at prints online. Also, of course, put coffee on my desk. What's new? Okay, I'm on Society6 right now, and I am so obsessed with this cowboy or cowgirl boot little print. They are so cute. There's a lot of options, but they don't have one in the size that I want. They only have it in square, and I know I have one square one, but I really just want this one for my room. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm like really, really loving it. I'm just for sure getting this print because I love it. I saw it months ago when I fell in love and so I just need to get it. I just heated up some leftovers. I have my mic ready and my recordings in 15 minutes. Um, but I there's a sale on Society6, so it's really just meant to be. So I just finished recording that podcast episode. It was really great. And I think that my rug has a rug. Oh wait, you know what? Either my rug or my food for tonight because the doorbell rang and now I'm going to be really upset if it wasn't my rug because I thought I was getting off to do that. So I'm going to finish my lunch, go check my package. Great news, guys. It was not just the rug, not just the food. It was both things. So I'm going to go take this upstairs. Guys, this is a very sad day. This was definitely advertised to me online that it wasn't going to be silver and it was going to be cream. And I got the wrong, I mean, this is like the wrong size too. But I'm just gonna have to buy a new rug and then like, email them or something because I don't even, I just don't feel like this is not necessarily my style even. So, you know, it is what it is. But I think I'm finally gonna order all my furniture for outside and then maybe I'll find a few more rugs just to get that done. So, this is the rug that I was supposed to have gotten and then I got the other one because this is tan and beige and really neutral, which is what my room is. And I just kind of wanted the added texture. So I might just order this and then figure it out from there. I'm not really sure. All right, guys, I'm now on my rooftop. Really quite a big question. How am I supposed to clean off this rooftop? Because like that shot glass is not mine. Um, there's not like a hose up here, I don't think. So how am I supposed to, my mom has a power washer at the lake house, but like, how am I supposed to clean this? You know what I mean? So anyways, um, as you guys can see, this is the area right over here. I need to clean this off, it's gonna drive me insane. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. But right here, I'm going to have a, like the nice little seating area with, now I'm kind of debating getting this too though, but like I would have to, I don't know what I want. So this would be the seating area. Over here would be the, lounge chair I'll probably end up buying two and then over here would be like a little um kind of like love sack things the thing that just sucks are these vents like how am I supposed to make it look good with these vents up here guys please share your wisdom feels absolutely amazing up here though like I really want to utilize this space and this was a huge selling point of the house so I'm going to figure it out but I'm just up here kind of brainstorming and getting ideas um like, I can even edit up here. Do you know how relaxing that would be to, like, actually spend time? I'm jealous because my neighbors have a lot less vents on their rooftop, and I have a lot more. No one even goes up here. I've never seen anyone up here, so it's just tragic. Also, does anyone have any ideas for how I can block off this? Um, obviously, it's ugly, but obviously, it's functional. I know that I can't just get rid of it, unfortunately, but, like... How do I make it look not ugly? Do I have to just get something to kind of section it off? I don't know guys, I need help. I think my final verdict is one of these for now, two of these, I have some rugs, and then this is the sectional I'm gonna get. I just find that that's probably gonna be a better use of my money. All right, so this is actually really the final call, ignore that one rug. That's gonna be my bedroom. 
I'm just gonna email Overstock and figure that out from there. Um, and then I'm gonna get this for my balcony because I think it would just be nice to have something out there. Okay guys, I'm feeling very good. Um, I, now that I'm like, you know, really an adult and budgeting very well, um, I, well, I mean, I started like last week with my financial advisor. Um, it doesn't matter guys, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. Um, I'm a genius because I have a certain amount allocated every single month for travel because normally I'll be traveling for my podcast and I'm not traveling for who knows how long. So I just use the money that I would normally for travel for my rooftop. I'm a genius. So anyways, I'm really excited for that stuff to come. Who knows when that will be. I really don't like this rug and I don't know what to do with it because it's such an awkward size. But yeah, my chair is supposed to come tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Like I just like really truly have no idea. I'm just really excited because this is like feeling even more like home. But I'm gonna go downstairs. Um, Quinton and I are making dinner at six and it's currently 5.20. I might do some reading. I need a new book. I ended up, oh, my order's being confirmed. I ended up reading an entire book yesterday on Sunday. So I'm just a reading machine right now. So I have to figure out what I wanna read and go from there, um, but I'm really excited. I'm excited for tomorrow. It's weird, I go through phases where I'm either doing really, really great or really awful, and like right now I'm really happy that I'm just home, which is like, you know, probably gonna last about 48 hours, and then I'll be back crying for 30 hours, if you know, you know, you know? So I just lit candles, I'm about to play music, and then I'm gonna read for the next however long until dinner, but it just feels so nice. I'm just in such a good mood, actually. Since I'm in such a good mood today, I just want it to be known that I am not always in this good of a mood and I'm not always feeling this good, especially during quarantine. I don't want you guys to watch this and be like, oh my gosh, like it's so normal, I think, to have really high highs and really low lows right now. I feel so weird all the time. Um, and my anxiety is 100% better at all time high. I feel like I'm questioning everything in my life, like things I've never really questioned and I'm letting a lot of like, like I'm trying to learn to quiet out the noise and it's been very difficult and I feel like I'm questioning all these things and really overthinking like relationally and all these things and it's like I really just think it comes from confusion and uncertainty and anxiety and stuff in the midst of these times. So let me know if you guys have any advice on that at all. I don't know if I even explained it, but I'm gonna read, okay. It is now time for Home Chef. This is not sponsored, promise. Um, I'm working with them on Instagram stories upcoming. So if you guys want to deal, I would give you the code right now. I just don't know what it is yet, but it's really convenient. Anyways, so I'm gonna make dinner. We're making, um, what are they actually called? The cheesy Italian sausage stuffed pizza peppers, which look really good. So I'm just gonna cook this. I wanna go up to my rooftop because it feels so great, but we can't really eat up there yet. So, um, updates to come, guys. Okay, are you ready? Princeton's being really bossy. Can I please do this? I changed shirts because it was hot, but um anyways this recipe is really great so far and we haven't had it but it's easy yeah. i mean it's all pretty much done oh okay quinton is um really like put together kind of perfectionist and i'm like yeah you know whatever happens works out you know does that drive you insane that i'm like that no oh. Just, there's like a whole spoon left in here, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so. <laughs> it's pretty much done though, right? Yeah, okay. You know what? I don't need to hear from you. Oh, wait, you didn't even turn the stove off, off, dude. You're gonna burn yourself. You're literally gonna burn yourself, please. No, I don't want you to burn yourself. I'm, I'm gonna get off the spoon. Okay, please turn that off. Wow, okay. Oh, mm hmm. Yeah. It's so good on the rooftop, though. <laughs> this looks so good. It looks very, very bomb. Also, guys, my, okay, so you get the peppers and you half them. And I was listening to Quentin talk and I had my knife. I forgot how sharp my knives are on top of the pepper, but like where you would chop the top off. And I got halfway through wow. cutting the chop, chopping the top off. So like one of the halves ones is weird. You guys will see, but at least the knives work, you know? Then we put it in the peppers, and then we sprinkle on the cheese, and then we cook it for eight to ten minutes. This is the first time this has ever been in a YouTube video. Someone that isn't sponsored. <laughs> these are like, there's so many brand so deals well. for these. 
Also, if you like Trader Joe's, they've got some amazing, well, it's turkey, not sausage. This is Italian sausage, but it's like stuffed bell peppers. I cannot believe it. Quince is a really picky eater, so I never thought he would like this. I got this meal, actually, I picked it out just for myself because I thought for sure you wouldn't eat it. Here we go. This is what I mean, these two, by it just accidentally happened, but it seriously is fine. Okay, I got it, thanks. Jin, jin, jin. This, these are gonna be interesting how this works, but. This looks so good. Guys, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, so it's just peppers, Italian sausage, marinara sauce, kale, a little bit of cream cheese, and then we just roasted cheese on top of it, but it looks so good. Update guys, that was seriously so good. Finally, hopefully finished Tiger King's skin so long, but we're only wa we're watching it together and we only watch it for like two episodes a night. So, that is what we're doing. Finally, finished Tiger King. Um, we're not claiming that it's like the best show ever. It's just like super bizarre, lightly overhyped, but I also liked, I also really enjoyed it. I think that just because everyone was so obsessed with it, I don't know. Like I still liked it, but I don't think it was like the best thing I've ever seen, you know? So that is it for today's vlog. Coco, what are you doing, girl? Um, that is it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. My hair gets so crazy when I'm on the couch, but subscribe if you guys are new here, and I'll talk to you guys soon.